Hello friends, in this video we are going to take a first look at the new Pentax K3 Mark III, Pentax's new APS-C flagship camera. So... <laughs> <laughs> and before my daughter steals the show, welcome back on this YouTube channel. Let's have a first look at Pentax's new APS-C flagship camera, the K3 Mark III. So one week ago I was out with my friend Mike Muizenbelt shooting a video about the new Pentax K3 Mark III and the weather conditions were very different than they are now. It was uh, winter, there was snow and ice, it was below zero and over the period of uh, less than a week it completely changed and now spring is here because the weather is very nice. It's about uh, 15 degrees Celsius or something and as you can see my daughter and I are out in the backyard uh, and it's uh, nice. But first things first, let's have a closer look at this new camera. This new camera has a 25.7 megapixel APS-C sensor. Very good low light capabilities, it shoots video in 4K, it has a status display on top, in-body stabilization and pixel shift technology and a bright and large viewfinder. Those are some specs, but what about the first impressions? So the first time I had this camera in my hand, I noticed a few things. The first thing is that it is built like a brick. Um, as is Pentax tradition, all their cameras are very durable, weather sealed and the K3 Mark III is definitely not an exception. I also noticed that it doesn't have a flip out screen. Some people will totally bash Pentax for this, but I kind of understand because it is a viewfinder oriented camera. It's not for people who like shooting like this, it is for people who like shooting like this, as a photographer should. Well, at least a photographer with a camera like this. First thing is the viewfinder. It has a very big, open and bright viewfinder. And to be honest, it does feel like a full frame camera in that sense. Of course, it is an APS-C size sensor, but when you shoot it, when you hold it and when you use it, it really feels like a full frame camera. Um, those are my first impressions. Uh, I think it's time to go out, hit the streets of Gouda and uh, let's see how it shoots. Let's go. Welcome to the mean streets of Gouda, POV style with a GoPro attached to the camera. The menu of this camera is very intuitive and easy to use, so setting up the camera was not a problem. Today is a flat and overcast lockdown day, so excuse my uninspiring photos. As you can see in this video, I show you some raw shots as well as the edited versions of the photo. Bear in mind that the camera that I shoot with today does not have the final firmware and I have no idea if that affects the image quality. What I can tell from shooting with the camera for about an hour is that it is very fast and very responsive. The autofocus is accurate and fast and the viewfinder is very bright. I am used to shooting with my Ricoh GR, which is a point and shoot camera, but transitioning to shooting through the viewfinder is really not a problem. And the burst rate is ridiculous. Beautiful stuff. dimensiones. Dimensies. Oh yeah. Dit is een nieuwe kunststroom. Die heb ik zelf bedacht. Ik moet zelf iets bedenken. Ja, precies, ja. By the way, I am shooting with the Pentax 11-18 f2.8 lens and together with the K3 Mark III, it really is a joy to use. I really look forward to shooting more with this camera and see in what circumstances it really stands out. I could see you use it as a travel or documentary camera, as well as a wildlife camera. It feels versatile and shooting with it is a lot of fun. So after shooting for a while, I gotta say, I really like this camera. The image quality is, as you can see, very, very good. It's very fast, very intuitive, and the autofocus is amazing. Which brings us to the next question, who is this camera for? 
Well, first and foremost, I think Pentax users, people who are, are already using Pentax will definitely love this camera. Um, also because you can also use vintage lenses with it. That's very, very nice. I think this is a camera for people who are outdoors, shooting wildlife, shooting landscapes, uh, taking the camera with them on adventures and stuff like that. You also have to be willing to use the viewfinder because going into live mode and shooting like this, that's just not what this camera is made for. The viewfinder is very nice and very bright, so you have to be willing to watch the world through the camera and then it really becomes an extension of yourself. Uh, there are also some things that I haven't really touched yet. Uh, such as the 4K video quality, which is pretty nice. It also has a mic input and an external headphones output, so you can really use it for video in that sense. So that's about it for this video. I hope you have gained a good first impressions of this new camera. Um, as with most Pentax cameras, the best thing you can do is get your hands on it, try it, use it, feel it in the field. And that's where uh, the Pentax cameras and especially the K3 Mark III really, really stands out. So that's it for this video. I hope you gained something from it. I hope you have got a good first impressions of the Pentax K3 Mark III. And I will see you in the next video. Peace. Hi there. Oh, kijk. Moet hij zo? Nee. Ja, toch? Ja. Ik weet het, er moeten deze uit. Ja, dan gaan we een mooie hengel voor jou maken. Het is een... Uit, uit, daar! Waar ga je heen? Ik ga voor